let's put together a neat and organized live switching fly pack. Hey everyone, I'm Django. I'm really excited because today we're gonna put together a six unit rack case with a bunch of gear in it that's gonna make live switching multiple cameras out in the field a breeze. I'll put links to all the gear in the description, but here's a quick list. SKB six unit flight case. On the top, we're gonna have a Rolls RM82 audio mixer. We can plug eight XLRs into this. Below that, we'll have a Blackmagic SmartView Duo dual monitor. We'll have multi-view on the left and program on the right. Below that, we'll have a Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio HD switcher. And to the right of that, we'll have a Blackmagic HyperDeck Studio Mini uh, with which we can record our program to SD cards. Below that, we'll have a Furman power conditioner, which will help us keep all the electricity coming in clean and consistent. And it gives us multiple outlets to plug into. So uh, when we roll this rack up to location, we'll just have one plug that we plug in someplace and we'll be good to go. In addition to these pieces, in the back of the flight case, we're going to install two of these 12-port uh, GLS audio uh, rack panels, and inside of which we'll be able to put these uh, HDMI and SDI uh, adapters. It's basically just like a butt connector um, for these different connections. Um, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us easier physical access when we're reaching into the back of the case in the future because the depth of all of the rack pieces we're putting in there is different. And if you reach in, if you've ever tried to do that, it's a real big pain. All right, I'm gonna speed up this process through time lapse and we'll see how it goes. Starting with the Furman power conditioner. Next is the ATEM and the uh, HyperDeck recorder. Um, they both go on the same unit. They are, the ATEM is actually two thirds of one U and the recorder is one third. So they stay on the same thing. They're on this little uh, Terranex shelf and they screw in at the bottom. Okay, so we've got our audio mixer, our monitors, our switcher, our recorder, and our power conditioner. All right, next we're going to uh, finish putting together uh, these guys, and then we'll be ready to put them in the back of the uh, rack case. Okay, I'm gonna reference a diagram uh, that I'll pull up on the screen. Um, in this top uh, rack unit, I've got eight XLR ends. These go patch straight over to the audio mixer. And I've got an HDMI program coming out and a HDMI multi-view coming out. Now I am one HDMI plug uh, adapter short. So uh, for the sake of uh, today, I'm going to not do the HDMI multi-view. Also, as you can see, the eight XLRs are already done. Um, I had these uh, hardwired. Uh, we soldered these in with these uh, connections uh, a while back for something else we were doing. I decided to leave them in here, uh, but I'm a little concerned about these solders coming loose, about all the tugging that's been happening. So for the first two channels, I put uh, these XLR adapters where you could just plug an XLR into it. So I know that most of the time we're not going to be using any more than one or two microphones. Uh, so I know that the first two are going to be a lot more solid. So that's what I'm going for right now. And eventually I might uh, replace these with these. So for now, we just have to put uh, one of these HDMIs in. There we go, so that's that. I've got my X eight XLRs and one HDMI. I'm gonna have to label this later, but good thing I've got my diagram, so that'll be easy to do. For this next piece, we're gonna have four HDMI, and we're gonna have eight SDIs. Eight SDIs, that's gonna be the four inputs. Uh, two program outs, one multi-view out, and one aux out. Here we go. Here 
go. Got it. So the next step is putting those panels in the back of the rack and then running patch cables everywhere they need to go. There you have it. Uh, everything is plugged in, and I've got one power cable right here coming from the power conditioner, and that will power up all of the devices. And that's it, a convenient fly pack. Eight channel audio mixer, multi-view and program monitors, switcher, recorder, and power conditioner all in one little case you can roll around. I believe that the ATEM cannot give me audio delay. So to sync up my audio, I think I'm gonna need to buy a little delay box. So I think that's the next thing. Uh, but as you can see, there's plenty of room in there to uh, set a little box like that in there. So thanks a lot. This is my very first video related tutorial thing. So I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, except I've learned a lot from tutorials and people showing me things like their fly packs, like a uh, gentleman from here to record and some others. Uh, they've been very helpful for me when I was building out my own. So uh, I appreciate it and I hope you guys have a good one.